another surprise at the factory in November 2024. This is already a few months ago right now. I'm recording this in end of January. So uh, let's go inside. Okay, we're back at the Creality Factory in Huizhou, Shen, uh, near Shenzhen in China. And we were walking around and found the Creality High. Now, the Creality High has been shown at CES, so it's not a secret anymore. At this time it was, and this was a few months ago. Look how many there are. This is what was shocking to me, is how many they were testing already. So I couldn't play any of this audio because uh, first of all, I hate my voice when I'm walking around. I say dumb things all the time. I am, I am not liking my own narration of this. So, um, so I just muted the audio. Also, I don't know what they're saying in Chinese a lot of times and I'm worried that they're saying things that I shouldn't put out. So I don't want to get in trouble. So you just have to put up with me talking now even though it, it, my voice isn't better. Build plate size, 265, two, no, 260 by 260 by 300 high. Uh, so that's, that's the print volume. This printer does not look bigger than the Ender 3 V3 series. The footprint of it is, it, it just doesn't look bigger. It looks the same size or smaller. It is so impressive. Um, the reason that they have so many and are testing so many in November is they want to have enough at launch to sell because we're expecting a high demand for these for the reasons that I'm going to going to tell you about all of these details but they want to make sure they have enough so back in November they were already testing this many they've been building them since November so when they ship them we're hoping to not run out we're hoping to have enough for everybody to get them. Uh, print head is similar to the K2. Uh, different nozzle, still a unicorn nozzle. Slightly different nozzle, I think, from the K2, which is a huge shame. I know, you know, I do like comments on the channel. Absolutely leave me a comment, but if you're just gonna comment to tell me that that's a terrible idea to have another new nozzle, I already know that. I don't think they should have had a different nozzle in the K2 Plus. I think they should have used the same unicorn nozzle from the K1C and the K1 Max, I, I, it drives me nuts. I agree with you. You can say it if you want, but I'm 100% on your side on that one. They test every printer. You know that from the last factory tour. If you haven't seen the last factory tour where we saw the K2 Plus, uh, we test every printer at Creality. This screen comes pre-attached. So it's when you take this out of the box, the screen is on, that's new. Most of, the, most of the printers, you have to put the screen on. It swivels, it folds away, connect to the CFS right there. That multi-filament system plugs in on the side. So RFID for your printer filament. If you're just using a single roll, you can scan it right there on the printer and it'll identify the Creality RFID only. I know people have hacked it. They're, they're closing up that. They want encrypted RFID only. Also, I, you can you can leave a comment if you want. I agree with you. I wish they didn't. I wish I wish you could create your own RFIDs. That little black uh, print that you see in between the two printers there, that is on the printer when you get it. It's a poop holder that that fits around the the side rail there, on this side, so that when it yeah, so it's it's a tray and that print is on there because I printed that with mine already. Um, what else do I need to tell you about this? It is CFS compatible, same CFS as the K2 Plus uses. And yes, you could use four of them. So you can print up to 16 colors on this printer, on this bed slinger printer. Why did they call it the high? Daniel is explaining that to me right now. He says it's because we want to make new friends. We want to introduce 3D printing to new friends. So it's like a welcoming hi. Why don't you get a 3D printer? Why doesn't everybody have a 3D printer? Multi-filament compatibility. Uh, you can use the CFS so everybody 
can have this in their home and the price I don't know you'll have to look on your own uh, store in your country I'm pretty sure the printer itself is 299 US so probably in Europe also 299 euros with the CFS if you get it in the combo I think they're only charging like 170 for that CFS in the combo so then it's what's that $569 I think for the combo something like that that's at release so if you're watching this video later possibly it's on sale but $300 for this printer is a fantastic deal because of the print size it's bigger than the Ender 3 V3 series 260 by 260 by 300 is a very good print size and for $300 you can add the CFS later you don't have to buy it in a combo so it's really practical it's really flexible it's got filament runout sensor of course in the nozzle in the print head assembly it's got auto calibration to put this together should take less than five minutes out of the box you don't flip it over there's no screws on the bottom you you put that gantry into the two slots there there's six screws to put in and one cable to plug in I think and you're off to the races then it's all auto calibrations from there so this is super easy a simple appliance that everybody should be able to have in their home so reliable good print quality they're doing the testing here every single printer gets tested after they put it together now I'm learning all these things about it and Zora is over here and she only noticed this one thing is the, lo <laughs> the logo turning on the print head you see the Creality logo turning around she was pretty excited about that I didn't notice that I wanted to know about print size and nozzles and extruders and stuff like that and, and she had to tell me that the, the uh, logo was turning around so there it is Creality High that's a sneak peek at it from the factory in Huizhou back in November.